Mm-hmm. Now I move on to what probably was my favorite match on this show. And I don't say that a lot about Suri matches. Um, nothing in Suri, because again, I'm not the hugest fan of Suri and the rest of Gaza. But this was like absolutely tremendous. Like mm-hmm. all six of these women just had an insanely great match at the start of it with Nat and Mirai both trying to get cheers from the crowd and trying to fire them up. And I felt this crowd took Nat's side. Uh, you can hear more Nat Chapoy chants and Mirai. Again, I don't understand half the shit, but it seemed I like the boy was having a fit afterwards. No, that was something. on the no, that was the next night. That was on night two. I think you got your notes screwed up. Because this one, they they were all separate, and then they came down and just started wrestling. First big oh, match. So this that is the one that the boy using the distraction to to attack yeah, Mirai. Yeah, because they were both in corners cheering, and then Mirai's one corner, so Nat just runs down, runs across, and attacks her. Ah, uh, okay. The the stomping tantrum one was on the on the on the nineteenth sure. show. Yeah. Oh, we'll see oh, when I get oh, there. <laughs> very much so. But yeah, this was a really great match. Just the speed, the precision, the just the the smoothness you got from Tam and Nat. Those two are just so good. And then Shuri, her kicks in this match when she was kicking Tam, when she was kicking Nat, are the two that I saw it most because both girls are so goddamn tiny. When mm-hmm. she kicks them, it looks like she's like her leg is half their body, and she's kicking like the entire half of their body, and it's just like oh, I saw it even more on the next night. But on un- holy crap, dude, just mm-hmm. holy crap! And then Ami, oh, mean, man, that power is crazy out of that girl, man. She she's insane, man. Um, absolutely phenomenal match by all this. Tam and Nat making dual dives to to God's eye on the floor, taking out mm-hmm. ringside people. Fuck, it was oh so good. Uh, in the end, though, triple super kick by Cosmic Angels. Um, and Tam Nakano hits the uh, screwdriver, gets the win. Absolutely phenomenal match, though. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And the power of Mirai and Ami with those dueling uh, machine gun chops has got to be one of my favorite tag teams that they do. Um, just even, it, I know it's so simple, but it's so effective for them, and they make it look really, really good. Um, Saki, again, just a powerhouse. I absolutely love her with the Cosmic Angels. I love her addition to the little dance. I love that she does the dance. And that mm-hmm. she's not Waka, just like, tally-ho, right through the middle of Ta- Tally-ho, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's uh, what she's doing, right? I haven't heard somebody uh, say tally-ho I'm forever. just so terrified that she's going to do that, and she's just going to do it when Tam takes a step, and it's just going to take out Tam, take out Waka, chaos, chaos everywhere. Um, no, no, that's it. Yeah. The, the chaos, chaos is in New Japan. I mean, they own, they're only by the same company, aren't they? I know. I'm just making bad yeah. jokes. Come on. <laughs> right. Um, anyway, um, the afterwards, um, Ami uh, denying Tom knocking on the handshake um, almost suspiciously on, on the, you know, w- wise words of Sori whispering in her ear there, you know. Um, it, it was interesting to see. I didn't expect that from Ami. I did expect a little bit more to um because you know, she is more of a, a facey kind of a character in this company um so I, I did find that interesting and i did equally find it interesting mirai stepping up in in uh, ami's place to to kind of be in tom's face and be like nay nay my friend nay nay don't do that um the cosmic angel celebration afterwards when, when um, um god's eye had left the ring and they're all just like yay we won and they're blowing kisses to everyone and that's the point Tam are like rolling around with each other and Saki's just laughing it was so sweet and so endearing because it shows just how excited they are and how much they love what it is like what love what it is that they do um very heart mm-hmm. heartwarming moment highly recommend you guys check out this match and watch till the end for that because that was yeah. amazing yeah, again, absolutely tremendous match throughout, and mm-hmm. just all six of these women just, just I thought had, I think one of the best matches I've watched in this Triangle Derby. Just how well all these women worked together was see, absolutely. I about the next one. Oh, well, again, the next one absolutely <laughs> phenomenal too. I don't, know, I just, I just love this match. I don't know why, what mm-hmm. it was, but yeah, 
But we move on to the main event of the night, and it is a triangle mm-hmm. derby match. Donna, or, uh, buddy, buddy bombers, the Julia, my Sakurai, and Sakba taking on prominences Har- Haragi Kurumi. Ugh, it's all hard to say Harry for Haragi. me. Haragi Kurumi, uh, Risa Sarah, and Suzu Suzuki. Um, ab- again, another absolutely phenomenal match. It's high striking affair from all these women. It was, yeah, Suzu Suzuki. Let's do Goddamn kicks. Like the sling series, it's those goddamn kicks that she hits. They're just like ah. Oh. But dude, and then there was a really cool spot in this where uh Sekla ducks Suzuki and uh, a Larry from Suzuki, and then Suzuki ducks a Larry from, from Sekla and then drops her with the stunner, but she like drops onto her knees. I, I just the way she did the stunner, I was like I really like that. It, again, it was just a different way to see a a, a, a very common move. The tarantula walks. I don't remember. No, they were just trading uh, clotheslines, like because like Sakula ducked a clothesline, then Suzuki ducks a clothesline from Sakula. Did she duck it in her back bridge? No, 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 no. This is just oh. basic like clothesline because it was a clothesline and clothesline. That that was later, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like yeah, they traded spider walk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. Shit, more than one person doing one of those, just creasing the fuck out. <laughs> I didn't even know Suzu Suzuki could do that. So when she pulled it out, I was like, Bray Wyatt has possessed her. No, Thakla possessed her. Come on. <laughs> I mean, they, we saw Thakla in the ring, though. How could she possess her when she's in the ring? It's possible. We see her, see you, see her. Yeah, that just just an absolutely. Really good match, I said, for mm-hmm. all these women. Um, just ah, again, absolutely phenomenal. Like, mm-hmm. um, Thekla at the beginning holding her own against Haragi, um, arguably the, the powerhouse, if we could say specifically, one is a powerhouse in prominence. Um, Thekla arguably being the smallest member of the Bari Bari Bombers, but again, I mean, shoulder boulder, she was not afraid to to get in her face and and did very very well um that speed and flexibility helping her out insanely but i don't think she actually um expected haragi to be as uh, flexible and quick as she was either mm. um she did catch her a number of times rocking thekla's day um, i really did feel that this match of all of them it introduced us to some new stuff that suzuki can do but I felt that this really showcased Hiragi and, mm. and what it is that she brought to the table for her team. Um, the This whole, just the whole time that Thakla and Suzu were in the ring is just something you want to watch. It was absolutely incredible. As we had mentioned, the, the kind of that spinning bridge thing that Thakla does, the little spider thing. Suzu doing the same thing, you know, them going back and forth. And Suzu not staying down for Thekla either. Every single big move, she was popping back up and, you know, going super scion on us. Um, Risa Sarah also, I mean, just so good. So good. Um, but again, um, I definitely felt that um, Thekla and, and Haragi were more the kind of showcases in this one. Um, I really do enjoy that piggyback drop, knee drop that <laughs> Suzu and Riza do. <laughs> oh, this, I love that I got you saying piggyback and all this. I really am. <laughs> well, I mean, it is what it is, right? I mean, that's what she's doing. She's piggybacking her. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, at the end, Suzu catching that tequila shot on Thekla. I want me some Thekla and Suzu. Uh, I, I don't want no tag match. I want that one-on-one. Holy hunt diggity dang. That would be an absolutely tremendous match. That would be yeah. insane. Insane to the membrane, sir. And then this is uh, post-match is where um, um, Maya, Maya, whatever you want to say, uh, she shows up and she, her, she has no desire to be in stardom. And she hates Julia and Rossi Ogawa. But she will accept a title match. But if she puts on the belt, Rossi Ogawa and Julia are going to be disgusted. Okay. I'm so confused. But okay. I'm I'm looking forward to the match. Don't get me wrong. But I'm like, 
she's forcing the heel there is what she's doing and yeah it, but it, it, it's going in a hole that doesn't fit <laughs> it's, yeah yeah especially for how much the crowd was supporting her and the team earlier yet they yeah sorry honey they're not gonna boo you they like you <laughs> and then and then julia says she's gonna want to do this match no matter what and things like that and they set it up for march 4th mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i think it's gonna be an absolutely tremendous match absolutely. and then prominent says something how they're the champs so they're gonna win the tournament and that's about it but don't, they didn't really say much to that like it wasn't much else to what their speech was in my opinion and you know what? Um, again, the Suzu name or Suzuki name there, she cut a promo exactly like Minoru Suzuki would. Like, just, like, making statements and, like, laughing evilly after. I was just like, I just love this woman. <laughs> and she's so young, too. I know I'm going to get many, many years of her. I can't wait for it. Yeah. So I'm going to bring this up quickly, uh, bring this to the main screen. So at the end of the preliminary round of the tournament you have power passion pineapple with 11 points cosmic angels with 10 those two teams will move on to the semifinals in the in the red in the red triangle division to face off and in the blue triangle division you have aribono ge and prominence each with 10 points who will they will also move on to the semifinals to uh fight in on march the Fourth again, yeah. March, no, not March fourth. Can't be March fourth. Yeah, Mar- no. Oh, weird. Because yeah, it's supposed to be Mar- March. Yeah, March fourth. Yeah, it is March fourth. There we go. <laughs> I have it right. I'm not wrong. I'm crazy. So yeah, we have uh, Adi Bono GE versus Cosmic Angels, and we have Power Passion Pineapple versus Prominence. I think both these matches are going to be absolutely tremendous on that on that March fourth show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my mm-hmm. goodness. Yeah. Another uh, triple P and P. That's a lot of P's. <laughs> yeah. Another triple P and P. <laughs> so we are going to move on to, to the 